Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Sports Corner. I am your host, Christopher Armistead, and what we're going to start off with today is a little bit of MLB. Uh, we had game four. Game four of the ALCS between the Astros and the Yankees. Yankees coming out on top six to four. Going into then they have game five tonight in New York. Let's see if uh, New York can try to take a three two series lead, or will Houston bounce back and try to get their get a series lead in that? And going into the NLCS, uh, Dodgers come out on top six to one, taking a commanding three zero series lead over the Cubs. So uh, Dodgers look like they can sweep, or will the Cubs try to pull off a three, uh, pull off a comeback, down three zero, and see if they can bring the series back? Uh, but talk of the town today is the NBA started last night. I was super excited to watch some basketball again. It's been too long. Uh, Cavaliers come out. We're playing the Celtics, and they came out on top. 102 to 99. The big story from that game was Gordon Hayward's injury. Uh, he left with a left ankle. He broke his left ankle. Let's rephrase it. He broke his ankle. If y'all watched the game, if y'all watched that scene, it was. I kind of squirmed a little bit because it wasn't. Ugh. There's just. It's not a. It wasn't pretty. It was. I. You heard the thud and the snap, and you just were like, oh gosh, it wasn't pretty, but. From that game, it was it was kind of to see how the Celtics would react. Would they take it too hard? And I didn't think I thought with him out, it was going to affect them a lot. But they played really well without him. And only losing by three, that shows that they can still do something without him. But also, Kyrie had to carry the load. Kyrie had twenty two points, ten assists, so he had a double double. But he had to take a lot a lot of shots uh, provided with him. Uh, and when Gordon Hayward left, he only had two points and one rebound. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't much. Uh, Jason Tatum had uh, fourteen points, ten rebounds, so he had a double double. And uh, Al Horford had nine points, seven rebounds, five assists. So everyone tried to do everything, but it wasn't enough. With uh, LeBron James and the Cavs, LeBron getting his double double, twenty nine points, six uh, sixteen rebounds. Nine assists, so he nearly had the triple double, but it wasn't enough. Jay Crowder had eleven points, five rebounds in his first start in his first game with the Cavs. D Rose had fourteen points, four rebounds in his first game with the Cavs, and D Wade had eight points, two rebounds, three assists in his first game. So a lot of people had their first game, but it was also interesting to see how the Cavs would, how the Cavs system would be with a lot a lot of superstars and a lot of stars in their lineup. And Kevin Love had his double double, fifteen points, eleven rebounds, uh, four and nine from the field. So he didn't really shoot that much, but he still was productive, and he still got his double double. So the Cavs, Cavs resting, the Cavs get a rest today as the uh, Celtics go back home to Boston to TD Garden to play uh, Milwaukee, Milwaukee, and see how the Bucks will do and see if they can hit stop Giannis Antetokounmpo and his. In the start of their season tonight, so it'll 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 be different. All right, and Houston and Golden State was the latter hat latter game, as Houston came out on top one twenty two one twenty one after KD's last second shot. It went in, but he still had a uh, contact with the ball when it came when it was shot, so refs waved it off and it didn't count, uh, which really was a was a. It was a deal breaker for your Golden State. You think after being world champions the last year, they were trying to make a statement as we're going to start off the season one and zero, and we're going to keep going no matter what. Well, that didn't work out, and I really hope that somebody beats the Warriors because I'm tired of. I'm actually really tired of the league stacking. It's kind of. It's not fun. Like, you want to see different teams have a chance to win a championship, not the same teams winning. That's why it's no fun. That's why, like, 50% of the teams last year couldn't make revenue because it was like they're they're getting beat. Like, there's no fun watching the mon- – it's, it's, it, it, when, when, did you all – did anyone ever see Space Jam? Whenever the Monstars were playing Toon Squad 
And that first half was brutal. It's kind of like watching the NBA right now. It's watching the Monstars play against the Toon Squad. But you hopefully want to see uh, Toon Squad come out and win like they normally, like they did. But it's no fun watching a stacked team go against, we'll say the 76ers, who have one star and a rookie who's finally starting. Their star, Joel Embiid, as a center, and their rookie, Ben Simmons, another big man. And all they have is big man. Why can't the league try to separate players into teams where it can be even, evenly stacked to where te- different teams have a chance to win a championship, and it would be more fun for the league to watch. It would be more fun for the league to see how, if a team can do it, if a team can win it, who hasn't won in a long time. Cleveland had to do it, but they had to stack a little bit. Cleveland had to stack a little bit. Miami Miami didn't stack. Like they won in 07 with Shaq and Wade and when they won in my when LeBron, Wade and Bosh, Miami, they had, it was them two it was them three stars but a bunch of role players and and Ray Ray Allen, he he's a star. He's not a role player. He's a star, but they had a lot of role players. So it's not the same as what like uh Golden State's doing now when they had to they literally had to go out and find Durant because I guess Durant's the only person who could beat LeBron and I'm just I'm so tired of the league that's why I watch my team and I watch my team only because it's not it's not fair for the rest of the league to have super teams when it's I'm not I'm not mad because the Lakers won a championship back in 2010 they had their two peat they had their they're back to back years, and it, it was it was great, and it's fun while we lasted. So I'll get to watch show, the new Showtime this year. See if uh, the Lakers will come out. Lonzo Ball will get his start Thursday night against the Clippers. So that'll be a good matchup for him. A little L.A. a little L.A. rivalry going around. Uh, but the real player that I'm really waiting to see is Kyle Kuzma out of the University of Utah. He was he looked really good in the summer league, and he looked good in preseason. And I want to see if he could come out on top and try to. Even, he is a late. He was a late draft pick, but I want to see if he can uh, come out and ball out as well. I want to see Julius Randle uh, try to try to average that double double this year. We acquired Brooke Lopez over the off season, and are waiting to see if how he'll do. We got him out of the off season for a trade with uh, the Nets between for we gave up Timothy Mozgov and D'Angelo Russell, which I'm kind of. Happy a little bit. It, it it was I was happy, but I was also kind of sad because happy because we got rid of Moskov. He didn't really do so much, and even with Cleveland, he didn't do so much. He he did some parts in the playoffs, but he didn't really do anything in the season as far as for the Cavs. And he really didn't do anything with us. And D'Angelo Russell, with all his conflicts going around, I think that management really wanted to find a trade for him. But I think it's also he wasn't doing that well. Clarkson was beating him out, and Clarkson should have been the starting guard for uh, the Lakers, and what I wanted was, and we'll say Swaggy P was still with the Lakers. Yeah, we'll we'll say that because he went to Golden State. I, I just don't get it. They all just want to shoot. It would have been Jordan Clarkson, Swaggy P. Uh, it would have been Brandon Ingram, Julius Randle, and Timothy Mosgoff then, but it, now we got... Brooke Lopez for those two, so I still think, so I still think uh, Jordan Clarkson should start at the two spot. Lonzo Ball will be one, the one spot at point. Uh, Brandon Ingram will be the three. Julius Randle will be the four, at power forward, and Brooke Lopez will be the five. Which I know that'll be the starting lineup. If Jordan Clarkson is not the two guard, y'all are wasting some good talent because he he was a late draft pick. He did really well his rookie year. He even did well his second year. So I don't see what the problem was. What the problem is with bringing Jordan Clarkson into a starting role because he's earned that spot. But anyway, uh, going around the uh, league today, today is really the big day for all the league to get out and all the league to play. We have uh, 7 p.m. 76ers play the Wizards in Washington. Hornets play the Pistons in Detroit. Nets play the Pacers in Indiana. Heat play the Magic in Orlando. Like I said earlier, the Milwaukee will play Boston. Will play the Celtics in Boston at seven thirty. Uh, the Pelicans will travel to Memphis to play the Grizzlies. 
the Hawks will travel to Dallas to play the Mavs. Uh, I still, I think uh, Dirk needs to, I think Dirk has about one to two years left. He's getting up there. He, he's, he, he's done all he can for Dallas. I think he doesn't want to leave Dallas until Dallas is in good hands, which I agree. I agree that you should do that for a team, but nowadays with everyone traveling, and no one wants to be faithful to a team. Nobody. I have not. The last one was Kobe. I mean, K, KG had had his fun, but he traveled. He he did really well in his career. And Kevin Garnett, I Kevin Garnett was a baller, and he did what he could do. But although I wish players could stay with that one team and be faithful to their teams and that's what that's what brings in money would be if you were faithful I mean it's also the fact that if you stack a team it'll bring you money too but it's just it's not the same it's not the same when you stack a team but all in all I think and then uh the Nuggets will travel to Utah to play the Jazz the Timberwolves will play travel to San Antonio to play the Spurs uh Trailblazers will travel to Phoenix to play the Suns, and the Rockets are playing another back-to-back, and they'll travel to Sacramento to play the Kings. Well, this has been another edition of Sports Corner. I will bring uh, y'all news and highlights, and even if y'all want to be interviewed, come talk to me. I'll be around no matter what. Y'all can hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, anything. I'll be here, and I'm... Doing podcasts every single day, any time of the day. It just depends on how much stuff I have to do, plus everything I gotta do. You you t- you just tuned in to another episode of Sports Corner. I'm your host Chris Armistead. Thanks for tuning in.